Alleluia, Christ is risen, the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Well, good morning everyone and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. Whether you're joining us live or later today or even on another day, I am very glad that you are with us. As always, we're going to start with a blessing and then we'll be reading from the book of Psalms. Today it is Psalm chapter 34 and then we will be reciting the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer together and then we'll be going through the prayers of the people and we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. On this day the Lord has acted, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm reading Psalm chapter 34. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise will always be in my mouth. I praise the Lord, let the suffering listen and rejoice, magnify the Lord with me, together let us lift his name up high. I sought the Lord and he answered me, he delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to God will shine, their faces are never ashamed. This suffering person cried out, the Lord listened and saved him from every trouble. On every side, the Lord's messenger protects those who honor God, and he delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. The one who takes refuge in him is truly happy. You who are the Lord's holy ones, honor him, because those who honor him don't lack a thing. Even strong young lions go without and get hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, children, listen to me. Let me teach you how to honor the Lord. Do you love life? Do you relish the chance to enjoy good things? Then you must keep your tongue from evil and keep your lips from speaking lies. Turn away from evil, do good, seek peace, and go after it. The Lord's eyes watch the righteous, his ears listen to their cries for help. But the Lord's face is set against those who do evil, to eliminate even the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry out, the Lord listens. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He saves those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous have many problems, but the Lord delivers them from every one. He protects all their bones. Not even one will be broken. But just one problem will kill the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be held responsible. The Lord saves his servants' lives. All those who take refuge in him won't be held responsible for anything. Right, and now I'll be putting the Apostles' Creed in the comments so we can recite it together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now I'll be putting the Lord's Prayer in the comments so we can recite it together. <clears throat> and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alright, and let us now continue with the prayers of the people, which I am putting in the comments right now. <clears throat> Almighty God, you have given us a grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. As always, the refrain, the part of the prayer that we all say together is in all caps so that you can distinguish it. 
Lord, we pray for the worldwide church, for our congregation, the journey, and for our campus outreach ministry at Graceland University, that we may all be one. We open our hearts so that we may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all spiritual leaders around the world, and especially for our presiding bishop, Raul, our own bishop, Justin, our pastors, Sean, Tim, Lily, Eli, Caleb, Michelle, and Harrison, and all pastors, priests, and deacons of our Diocese of the Emmaus Way, that they may be faithful ministers of your gospel. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially our President Joseph, our Vice President Kamala, our Governor Mike, our Representatives Joshua, Sam, Emmanuel, and Ray, and those who serve in the local elected positions of our communities, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. We offer a special prayer for the people of Ukraine. We pray for an end to conflict and a start to deep abiding peace, and we pray that your spirit provides comfort and hope even in the midst of terrible circumstances. We also pray for Vladimir Putin and the nation of Russia that they experience conviction over their actions and repent of their violence and warfare. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially Robert, who is undergoing CART therapy, Charlotte, who is going through various health problems and who recently had a bad fall, Pan's granddaughter-in-law, who has been diagnosed with cancer, Patricia and her son, who have a fractured relationship, the people of Afghanistan, that they might experience peace in the midst of a power transition, for Mike Snyder, whose brother Greg passed away recently, for Don Lowry and her family, for Shelley and her family, for Minister Chapman, for Paula's sister, for Christina, for Deborah's housing situation, for Michelle Mangold, who is seeking financial freedom, for Bishop Guido, his wife Trini, and their family, for Kate's grandmother, who is going through health issues, for Anna Lee and her children, who recently lost their husband and father Michael to cancer, for Jeremiah's sister Jennifer, who has stage 4 breast cancer, for Brandy and Jim and their family, who lost their grandchild Everett, for Jennifer Holloway's husband, who is searching for employment, for Michelle's uncle Dwight, whose wife Barb passed away recently, for Michelle's mother, who is adjusting to living with diabetes, for Vonda, who is recently diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, for Candace's daughter Nadia, who is facing serious health issues, and for Candace and all her children as they adjust to a new way of life, for Tim, that his recovery from back surgery goes well, for Rose Burkhardt, whose husband passed away recently, for Kiri Bolger and her son Bryson, who lost the rest of their family to a severe storm, for William Hawes, who is recovering from brain surgery, and for Virginia, who has breast cancer, for Jennifer's friend Monta, who is going through a custody battle, for Valerie's friend, who has long COVID, for Anthony's husband Michael, who is struggling with his health and has major breathing issues, and for Bishop Justin, who is feeling sick. Let them be delivered from their distress, and raise us up as your hands and feet in this world. Let us live in the light of your grace as we go about our daily lives. We especially thank you for your loving provision for Darla as she diligently cares for her mother in the midst of sickness, for Nikki while she performs her daily work as an RGM and as she explores her faith day by day, and for Mia, Tim, Aiden, and Allie as her family are just having Allie at home. Let us always remember and live within the grace you are always giving us. Give to those who have passed, especially Greg Snyder, Michael Montier, Everett, Barb Real, Diane, Michael Kinley and Owen Bolger, Melissa Baisley, Randy, and those in our communities who have lost their lives to alcohol or drug addiction, eternal rest. Let the light of your love shine on them forever. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom and work to bring it about here on this earth. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by troubles. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, and that concludes daily morning prayer for today. As always, I'm putting a link in the comments, rethinkfaith.org slash prayer, where you can go to submit your own prayer request. And as always, as I see you specify, if your prayer request is public or private, the public prayer request will appear here in the prayers of the people, whereas the private prayer request I will only share with the Journey's leadership team. But either way, you'll have people praying for you. And then, of course, please also send us updates so that we can keep praying for you in whatever way is best for you. 
And that's all I have for today. So to anyone who has been here, thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. for daily morning prayer.